Welcome to this video about algebraic fractions. And we have to show that this particular equation, 5 over x minus 3 plus 2 over x plus 1 equals 3, can be simplified to this quadratic equation, 3x squared minus 13x uh, minus 8 equals 0. Okay, so this equation equals that equation, but we have to show the steps to go from here to there. Okay, now before um, I'm going to show you how to do that, I just want to tell you that one of you has asked for my help to solve this question on my site explainingmaths.com and you can do the same thing yeah you can go to my site you'll find all the resources uh, nicely organized and you can ask me your questions and it's also important to realize this is a past paper question guys this was actually a question on um uh, an IGCSE uh, paper so all the credit goes to Cambridge examinations I did not create the question we are just here to solve it together okay now let's have a go I'm gonna write down the initial equation 5 over x minus 3 and while I'm writing it down I want you to think about what is different about the initial equation and let's say the answer 3x squared minus 13x minus 8 equals 0 yeah, and I really like these types of uh, questions because the answer is here well actually your answer uh, is the steps uh, to go from here to there but this is what you are going for what is the difference between this and that well hopefully you realize I have two fractions here I don't have fractions there yeah is that what you see so what are we going to do we're going to get rid of those fractions and let's see what happens and what how do we get rid of fractions by multiplying it by the denominator so we're going to do it step by step yeah um, most books do it all in one step but why 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 hurry why uh, increase uh, the chance of making mistakes we're just going to do it step by step so we're going to get rid of this particular fraction so we're going to multiply it by that denominator, x minus 3. And then we're going to multiply <coughs> both sides by x minus 3. Yeah? The left side and the right side, um, x minus 3. And this fraction is gone, and that's why we multiply it by x minus 3. So we have 5 plus, but be careful or realize we have to multiply the entire left side by x minus 3. So also this fraction times x minus 3. So I'm going to get 2x, two, uh, 2 times x minus 6, 2 times minus 3 over x plus 1, and that equals 3x minus 9. Do you understand 3x minus 9? Yeah, 3x minus 9 okay 2x minus 6 over x plus 1 now we're going to do the same thing for this fraction and we don't like fractions we're going to we want to get rid of fractions so we multiply by the denominator x plus 1 so the entire left side times x plus 1 the right side times x plus 1 so that one is gone okay so we're going to let me just write down 2x minus 6 here but realize we also have to do five times x plus 1 okay 5 times x is 5 5 times 1 so it's not 5 that's 5x sorry about that yeah. 5 times 1 is 5 let's just do a plus there equals I'm just gonna write down those two sets of brackets yeah, which is 3x minus 9 times x plus 1 okay because we're gonna use the FOIL method to expand those brackets Okay, before we do that, let me just simplify the left side. So combine the like terms, 5x plus 2x, that will be 7x. And I have, what else, a 5 minus 6, which is minus 1. And then the right side, we're going to use the FOIL method. And we're going to do that a little bit quickly, because I explained that in different videos. Yeah? Uh, 3x squared plus 3x. So have a look at my videos, I explain all of this in detail. 7x minus 1, let's simplify it, 3x squared minus 6x minus 9, and I'm really happy now, you know why? Why am I happy? Why do I feel confident now? Because I see this term 3x squared, okay? And I have a 3x squared there as well. So that is really nice because I know I'm doing well. This is a positive 3x squared, that's a positive 3x squared. So I'm going to put all my terms on the right side of the equation. So let me just say equals all right 3x squared i'm going to do a few steps in one now because i just want to save time it's for almost five minutes now so i'm going to take 7x away here i'm going to take the minus one away here so minus 7x so the minus 6x minus 7x that is minus 13x 
and uh, minus 1, so I'm going to look plus 1, and minus 9 plus 1 is going to be minus 8, and that's going to be 0. And as you can see now, yeah, that's I have 3x squared, minus 13x, and minus 8, and I say yes! because that is going to give me confidence. I have shown them it can be simplified. I say then QED, which you can Google that, what that means, okay? But you can write that there if you want to. All right, so hopefully that was useful. Like and share if it was useful, guys, because then I can help your friends too. And uh, check my site, eh, explainingmaps.com. you find everything for free, nicely organized um over there and um, you can also ask me any questions you have i hope to see you soon and for the rest have a pleasant evening bye bye